And a good afternoon and welcome to J Dutchess Stadium in Fishkill, New York for this, the winner's bracket final, Game 7 of this 2015 Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Baseball Championship as the number three seed Quinnipiac Bobcats take on the number four seed, the Siena Saints. Siena has not used a reliever as both Matt Quintana and Brian Goosens went the distance. And for Quinnipiac, both of their stars and a pop-up catches out. The throw to second is in time. We'll score that in FP2-6 on the double play as Ionati popped out of the crowd to catch. Safe leadoff first from Bishop. That ball is hit well out to right field. It is carrying. Going back is Pescatelli, and it hits off the top of the wall and go down into fair play. Rounding third is Bishop. He will score from first and heading into third with a stand-up triple. He now all-time in the MAC tournament. And that ball is laced out to right center, and that's going to be a base hit. Scoring is Faye easily from third. It's an RBI knock for Dave Hoffman. Give him now 26 RBIs. The runner is batting. That ball is lined back through the box, and it's a base hit. Rounding third is Bishop. He should score without a contest, and he does. It's an RBI base hit for Justin Escara, and it's now a 3 to nothing advantage in 12 hitter, 6-16 slugging. And he mm. swings at the first pitch, but gets a little bit under it. Going back to the warning track is Pesatelli. He'll make the catch. Runners tagging at second and third. The throw goes into second. Scoring is Escara, and that ball just missed. Eight at third, Hoffman at second, and Tuccio at first. It's a humpback liner out to second. Underhand flip in time as Batten gets there. One pitch. Have you had a solo shot in yesterday's game? He's lines that. Charity hop out to second. Bishop up with it. Martis in time out of first. It's a four, six, three double play. Go on. And that's grounded to second. Backing up Donahue. Flip the short for one. The spin and throw for two. Nicely done on the turn. Four, six, three. Donahue batting to Galetti. Now the 2-0. And it's fisted towards third. Wild hop Gibson backhand fields throws. And it's dug out at first by Galetti. It was April of 1970. As that's lined in the left center field. And that's a base hit. And that's going to roll all the way to the wall. Pescatelli is going to be waved home. Swain fell down on the throw. Easily scoring all the way from first is Pescatelli. It's an RBI double for Gibson. Now the 2-2. Check swing. Did he go? They appeal. Yes, he did. Strike three. Face the winner of Ryder and Kanisha switch to follow this game. It's a lazy fly ball down the left field line. If it drops, it's trouble. And it is going to drop. Runners had to hold, so it goes down as an extra long single for Brian Fay. He's singled. He's on second. Batten, a bunt single. He's on first. First pitch swinging. Grounded out to Martis. Only has second to go. And they'll get that runner out there. That's Batten potentially in the right spot. We'll do it with the 3-1 offering. And that's outside ball four as Cummings lost Pesatelli, bringing home Donahue. And it's now just a two-run advantage for the Saints. Out the payoff. Decent leads all the way around. Ball four outside. And this game is now at 5-4. It's an RBI walk. Set the belt. The 3-1 offering is upstairs. Ball four. Four runs have scored for Quinnipiac here in the bottom of the ninth. And we are level at five, still only with one out. The batter is from the right-hand side. Again at third, Pesatelli second off striker at first, Gibson. The offering by Cummings upstairs. Wow. They have the man in the pickle. The throw to the plate is in time. And that... Wow. It's a big call and a big gamble by John Delaney trying to put on a safety squeeze. Controversial catcher's interference. A 1-2 cut on and missed. And we're going to the top of the 10th inning. Looking again now, the 2-2 offering. It's line drive up the middle. It's a base hit. Rounding third is Lowndes. Coming up with his Paladino. The throw is going to be up the first baseline. It's an RBI single. For Dan Swain, a 1-2 from Cummings. Cut on it, misses. He goes up the ladder. Cummings from the belt, the 1-2 offering. Grounded on towards first. Diving play over there by Faye. The throw is in time. A tag. He was safe. Oh, boy, wow. that's questionable there as Batten was busting it down the line. 
John Delaney coming out, wanting a word with Steve Leonardo, but he was definitive in the call as Siena is celebrating. Uh, what a play by Faye over there at first. Full extension out towards the right. And Siena goes 3-0 in the conference tournament. They will move on to the championship round to face either Ryder, Canisius, or potentially Quinnipiac tomorrow afternoon. Well, look, I'm... All right, Dan, uh, just talk about your team's resolve coming back, uh, getting one right back after they tied it in the bottom of the ninth you know, with, the, uh, with your RBI hit. Uh, I think it just goes to show that we fought all year. I think this is common for our team. Like We're always grinding until the very last out. And I think, I don't know, I got a little lucky. I mean, you got to get a little lucky. Uh. And now you're back in the finals. How's that feel? feels awesome. I remember last year going to the regional. That was one of the best moments of my life. And this is the only way to get there. So I want to get back. And tomorrow you only need to win one. How's that feel, too? It feels good. But... Anything can happen in the finals. Like we showed that last year, we can come back, or but anyone can come back and win two games. So we can't take the first game lately. We've got to end it quick. All right. Good luck tomorrow. All right, thank you. Well, coach, it got a little, a little interesting in the ninth, but uh, you pulled it out. A seventh straight MAC tournament win, back to the finals, third straight year. How's it feel? Uh, interesting. It feels good, obviously, but went 26 innings uh, in this tournament so far, pretty much, uh, you know, error-free ball, and then uh, we kind of ran to a snag in the ninth inning, but to Keanu's credit, he came back and, uh, you know, righted himself, and obviously Danny Swain, uh, you know, four hits today, clutch hits. Uh, our top of the order came, came through for us today. And talk about your team's resolve coming out, getting that run in the 10th after giving up the fourth spot in the bottom of the ninth. You know, fortunately, we've done that a few times this year, which is a good thing because they know they've done it. They know they can do it. So that's a, that's a positive. And back to the finals. How's that feel? Feels great, you know, but it's like pulling teeth. <laughs> All right, go see you tomorrow.